hello everyone welcome to my channel my name is amaka phelps on this page i talk about how i got my of uh, spouse visa moving to the uk so i share my personal experience on how i got my spouse visa moving to the uk if you haven't seen my previous video on how i passed my ilts i recommend you do so and also how to choose the ilts that is required for your spouse visa or for the visa you are going to be applying for in this video i'm going to be talking about how i apply for my npc national population census you are going to get a lot of advice some will tell you you don't need to apply for that you don't need to submit that the uk doesn't require this anyway i got a lot of advice but i went for it my choice is my personal choice okay i went for my national population census um i paid some money to get that done or you know being nigerians now you have to let one thing go to get you know to get one thing so anyway i was asked to pay some money of which i did i can't remember how much how much i paid for it anyway i got it done and get the certificate for that then added it to my document okay so like i said it's my choice i decided to do this and i went probably straight away and i got it all right so if i can do this guys i'm sure any i'm, I'm sure you can do it for the fact that i, I apply for my spot to start by myself you can do this as well it's okay so don't miss any video i post on this page all right stay tuned because you're going to get a lot i got it out of the way then went for straight from my criminal record criminal screening okay you are going to be doing some thumb printing where i had this done was at um Ikoyi. most of you knows where um Ikoyi, uh passport office is in Ikoyi. it's run about that area i can't remember what the name the name of the street is called now but most of you that knows the Ikoyi passport office is at the kind of at the back of it there's a police station at the back of that place so that's what i went to all right so if you get to the key passport ask, ask anybody you're going to the police station around that area where you can get your criminal screening done i'm sure they will direct you to the particular place where you will go and have your criminal screening okay so my came out clear all right so and i got called about a week later to come and collect the certificate that is out so i went there got the certificate and added it also to my documents that i've been accumulating okay so afterwards i went for my tb screening right tuberculosis test right uk has two approved center in the whole of nigeria if it's a whole if it's in the whole of africa i don't know i'm not sure about that yet but all i know is in the whole of nigeria they have two approved center that you can use which is one in abuja and one in ikeja lagos ikeja ikeja is quite close to me so yes i applied for the um approved center in lagos ikeja to be precise okay so i went online registered signed up online registered online and made the payment online and also got um a, an email um, confirming my payment has been received and i picked my date online as well and did all that guys if you are going for your tb screening biko don't do african time hey my fellow nigerians biko no african time on this one please if you pick your date and the time make sure you are there at that time because no be only you you are the only person that's applying for this um and tb screening you are not the only person people came from ghana to do this as well so please 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 if you are choosing any time please go there at that time i chose uh uh nine o'clock uh ten o'clock to do mine but i i spent i spent the whole day there before you got to ten o'clock people yes the whole day was gone so please if you are picking up any time make sure you go there at that time and get it done okay if your your results came out as positive my came out clear of course and if your result came out positive what you'll be doing is to make sure you clear yourself they might refer you to a doctor to make sure you clear yourself you treat yourself health wise then come back and reapply for the tb screening all right so if you're if you are spending time 
more than six months out of nigeria to the uk or to any other country you're spending more than six months all right you you are going to be needing the tb screening now if you are applying for visitor's visa this does not apply to you maybe probably a uh, six month or a year or two years visitor's visa but it does not apply to you but if you're looking to stay for more than six months in a particular country this has to be done this certificate is required all right so like i said this is my own personal experience okay and um yeah that is what I, that i had to do i got a certificate after like a week later and also added it to my documents all right so my next video um, i'm gonna be talking about how i applied for my visa application how i did my visa application and how i had to gather all the documents that i need i'm gonna be telling you all that so stay tuned if you find this video useful please give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys later share this video to somebody else to your friends and family because you might be saving somebody out there and like i said if i can do it myself by myself you can also do it but make sure you do not miss any of the video i post all right because more tips are coming and i'll see you guys later